How's it going guys? Today we got a weapon test. It's been a while since I tested a weapon, mostly just because I've been working on the Zombie Go Boom weapons for a while, and then I was just making like a couple mini builds, and then that little knife, I mean, it's a little knife, like, what, what new can you learn from doing a weapon test with a small knife? But it feels really good to get back out there and show you guys what these things can do. So today I'm gonna be firing the PVC pulley bow that I just made. For the purposes of teaching and for my own personal experimentation, I use small smaller PVC on this one than I would with like a regular non-pulley bow. Normally I would use one inch PVC for that. Though the draw weight isn't really even nearly as strong as the full one inch PVC, except you'll see in just a second that you can still get some really good shooting out of this thing. The arrow that I'm using is one that I've made out of a steel pipe, a nail, an oak dowel, some duct tape. This is a really, really good target arrow because as you'll see in just a second, this thing can smash into concrete multiple times and still be intact. So if you're just starting out training with a bow and you're afraid that you're gonna miss and break your arrow and then have to remake it you're probably gonna want to make something like this but while this is a really good arrow for target practice it's not gonna be the best for hunting and I'll explain why in a later video and I'll also teach you how to make actual hunting arrows but for this video I'm just gonna be testing on styrofoam the first test that you see is an accuracy test and the second test is a test of the durability of the arrow Alright, so it's pretty accurate, but something that you can see in that last shot is that the arrow is really front heavy, so it kind of starts tilting downwards as it uh, goes for a pretty long distance. Uh, that's also due to the fact that there's only two fletchings. I'm working on a way to make it so that there's three fletchings spaced out perfectly, but that's kind of difficult right now. Considering how many times it was shot directly into a concrete block, uh, I think it held up pretty well. I mean, you can definitely feel a little bit of bending as the, the steel is probably not heat treated, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. In the future, probably the near future, I'm probably going to try making the same kind of bow with one inch PVC and with that you can probably put a few more fiberglass rods inside of it. So that should be pretty beastly, uh, I'll try to get that up whenever I can but I gotta work on that Q&A that I'm doing. But as for this bow, the three quarter inch PVC, I still really like it. Uh, it. I think it'd be a really good bow for like younger kids. Like I know a lot of my viewers are pretty young. So this would be a really good place to start. If you're older and you need something with more draw weight, then I would definitely recommend moving up to the one inch PVC. Anything above that isn't really even gonna be able to bend without cracking, so. Uh, the one inch PVC with as many fiberglass rods as you can put inside of it, that'll get you a pretty strong bow. That's all we got for today. Be sure to keep an eye out for the Q&A that I'll be releasing pretty soon and also for that hunting arrow tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.